The rant is a personal point of view, which means it can be wrong, stupid, or incomplete. Don't trust everything you see on the internet, ask for different opinions, compare them, and make your own conclusions. There's probably no afterlife and nobody will care if you die, so be smart, think for yourself, and jump responsibly. I'm going to show you the gear check I do at the exit point before every single jump and we are going to time it together. Ready? First, I open the flap. I pull the bridle out and check that it's correctly attached to the canopy. Then I check the bridle routine. It comes out from the middle, straight to the top pin and to the bottom pin. Then, I pull the bridle and check that it goes from the bottom pin to the pilot chute without going through a leg strap. I can now mentally see my opening sequence. Pilot should putting the bottom pin, then the top pin, then the canopy. I'm sure my brother routine is good and I can close everything. So now we are done and it's 30 seconds. Why did I time it? Simple. Every time I do my gear check, someone says it's unnecessary and time consuming. Why would you double check something you just did an hour ago? Johnny Badass, the coolest guy in base jumping. Ah, it takes you ages to go through these checks again and again. Johnny Badass. He has an athlete badge. Dude, are you planning to repack the whole parachute on the exit point? Johnny Badass! He's got no time for your shit because he's got sponsors and a video project. Enough bullshit. Let's analyze that time consuming argument. Even if you're an active jumper, let's imagine you do 5 jumps per day, which is way above the average, and multiply it by 30 seconds. No need to take your calculator, the answer is 2.5 minutes. People are skipping gear checks to save 2.5 minutes of their day. How busy are you when you can't dedicate 2.5 minutes of your day on gear checks? What kind of life do you have? Can you defuse that bomb? I don't know, I don't know, I'm trying. If you don't defuse it, it's gonna explode and hundreds of people are gonna die. You don't have enough time, 10 seconds. Fuck, fuck, we all gonna die. Oh, yeah. you made yeah. it. Oh, safe! Nice job, buddy! Good that we save these 30 seconds by skipping gear checks, otherwise the world would be dead. Okay, these guys may have a point, but I doubt this is the classic scenario. Yeah, very but you know, I'm here to charge, so if I save 30 seconds here and there, at the end of the day I have accomplished way more things. Yeah, you're right, Johnny! You can also pull lower, this way you save a few seconds per jump and at the end of the day you can accomplish way more things. By the way, do you know what else I can do in 30 seconds? No, your mom. But there are many other things you can do to save 30 seconds on a jump. Like not wearing a camera, that way you don't need to check your camera angles, lose time turning on the camera and asking your friend Hey, is my GoPro on? Or you can also move your fat ass, walk 30 seconds faster and use that time to do gear checks. You'll be more fit and safe, just say. Yeah, but listen buddy, I pay attention during my pack job, so if I do everything right, there is no need to double check. Nah, yeah, you're right. I mean, nobody ever forgot to attach his bridle to his canopy. Oh, oh fuck. my god! Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god! Okay, well, this happened, but nobody would ever make a bridal routine mistake. But nobody would ever forget to attach his bridle to his pilot shoots. Oh, oh my god! Have you got anything to say? Yeah, that's what I thought. Mistakes happen, and more importantly, mistakes happen to everyone. The guy who forgot his pilot shoot is Jimmy, and he has thousands of base jumps with no injury. But one little mistake almost killed him. Having thousands of base jumps with no incidents doesn't mean you're not gonna fuck up the next one. When we're talking about deadly consequences, one mistake that you notice is worth thousands of useless checks. And the examples I mentioned before are just a few of a really long list. Slider on pack jobs on slider delays, slider pack job on slider on jumps, bridle routine for the leg straps, shrug up and forgotten around the pilot shoot, pull up cord stuck in the loop, pin locks and protected sex. Base jumpers have proven since a long time that they could be distracted, no matter how experienced they are. Yeah buddy, I hear you, but honestly, I don't think that can happen to me. These people were just being stupid. Listen to me, Johnny. 
Being smart and being attentive are two different things. Being smart or thinking you are doesn't guarantee you that you're gonna be attentive. People who had this incident are not necessarily dumb. Most of them are normal jumpers that unfortunately got caught up in the moment. They made easy mistakes and paid an expensive price for it. The only thing they had in common is that they thought it would never happen to them. Just like you. Think about it. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to check your leg straps, chest straps and your friends. Keep an eye on your mates, save a life and get a free beer. Tell us about your gear check routine in the comments and share with us if you have any additional advice. Once you do all of that, don't forget to like and share this video, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram.